Hi and welcome to Web Services DFW. In this in, the, in this video blog, we're going to show you how to set up a new email account using the Web Services DFW uh, cPanel email setup. So if you've already added your your email address to your cPanel and you're curious how to set it up in Outlook, this is how you set it up. You go to you open up Outlook and at the very top of your screen, you go to Tools and Account Settings which will bring you to this screen. You click on New, which will open up a new window. You want to add a Microsoft Exchange POP3 IMAP or HTTP, HTTP uh, email account. Click on Next here at the bottom. Here you're going to type in your name. In this case, we're going to use that name. And you should have some settings from your cPanel account. There should be a, a drop down box that says more and then set up your Outlook uh, server. So the email address that we're going to use for this particular account is alright and then we're going to use the password that it's with the account. We're obviously not going to cover that here. All right. Okay. So now is where Outlook's going to try to set the account up automatically for us. Because this is a POP3 account, that's not going to work out. So we're going to pause here for a second, let Outlook do its thing, and I'll come back. Okay. So Outlook is done trying to configure the server automatically which would work for if, if this was an exchange server and we had our C name set up to auto discover on your uh, MX records but this is not an exchange account so it's gonna fail it's gonna ask you that twice first time it's gonna say it tried it using an SSL or a, a secure connection and it couldn't connect and then try again using a non secure connection that will also fail so we go into manually configure the server and hit next we're gonna configure this as a pop account so let's hit next. It populates the information that we have put in here, but the information is not correct. So most of it is, and we're okay with most of this information. So let's go ahead and copy the incoming mail server, paste that over to the outgoing mail server, which should be in this case. In this case, we have a domain name set up, but for your account, you'd want to do mail dot your domain dot com, and whatever your domain is, input the correct information there. Now Outlook has put in the email address as the username. That's usually correct, but for a cPanel email account, we're going to exchange the at symbol and put a, a plus uh, sign there. So we've got our name, our email address, it's a POP3 account. We've got the incoming mail server, the outgoing mail server set to be the same thing. The username is the email address. We've adjusted the at symbol to be a, a plus sign. It carried over our password. We're going to remember that password. And we're going to click on more settings. We have a couple more things here to do. I like to always go in and change the name of this. Um, it's just good email etiquette. And let's put the business name in there. And the reply email. Let's fill that in. And then for the outgoing mail server, we're going to tick the box, my outgoing mail server requires authentication, and leave it as, use the same settings as my incoming mail server. That's all we have to do on the outgoing mail server uh, tab. On the connections tab, we're going to leave this alone. And on the advanced tab, we're also going to leave this alone as well. Sometimes you may want to change, uh, if you're ever using, uh, if you're using Verizon or AT&T as your internet provider, um, you may not be able to send outgoing mail through that server that uh, this way on the SMTP port of 25. So if you do get a problem, and I'll show you here where, where the problem would occur, if we hit OK and hit test the account, this is going to test the account, log in to the incoming, it's going to test the incoming POP3 and the outgoing SMTP server. If you get a fail here and you happen to be on Verizon or AT&T, what you want to do is go on to Google and type in AT&T SMTP or is your outgoing uh, mail server 
port settings. And usually Verizon, I believe Verizon um, is a SMTP port of either 27 or 127. I don't quite remember here. I had a customer that had Verizon and was having email problems. But uh, look it up on Google or call your uh, ISP uh, provider and ask them for your Outlook, SMTP, or POP3 port settings. And these are your server port numbers right here. Here's your POP3 incoming is 110 is the default. 25 is your default outgoing SMTP. Um, and if they tell you that the outgoing server must have uh, or you must log in, sometimes you have to log into the incoming server before you send mail out. Normally that shouldn't be checked, but um, anyway, that may be an issue there as well too. So, but leaving this the same, as you saw, we just got this to work. That is how you set up uh, email, uh, default email in Outlook using uh, domain-based POP3 email with Web Services DFW. We're going to uh, go back and delete this account as we don't need it. But uh, if you have any questions, always contact us at info at webservicesdfw.com or you can give us a call or visit us online at www.webservicesdfw.com.